Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. So today we are going to learn how to use the sign up newsletter using the MailChimp in the Node.js. Before those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the MailChimp code and uh, this is the app.js file. So here we have the CSS and the images. And here we have the failure.html file, right? If there is anything issue, so this will call. Then we have a sign up. Okay, so where we are expecting the first name, last name and the email. Okay, and here we have the form action, right? So, and here we are success. If the success, if everything is gone right, then we were showing the congratulations, I successfully signed up. Okay. And uh, here we have the main file that is app.js. So basically you can, you have to create the API where you're sending the name, email and the last name. Okay, so let's check each and every one. So first you need to install the express package. Okay, then you have to use the app as an express, then body parser for the payload, what we are sending. So they, then we, we are not expecting as a JSON. So we are using the URL encoded. Then HTTPS, okay. Then we have the sign up HTML on the route. So when I click on that one, you can see that this is sign up HTML newsletter, okay. Then we have the API, okay. So what main thing is what API does? So it expects the parameter required dot body dot first name, okay. So whether you can create the API or you can integrate somewhere else, okay. So that's the main fund of what we have to do is first name to so get the first name, then last name, then email. Okay, then you have to prepare the data, right? So members array you have to and the, in the in the object email address should be email status should be subscribe not subscribe you have to depends on to you merge fields you have to f name and the last name and you have additional fields you can also bypass that one. Okay, then stringify the data. Then you have to add the URL. Okay, where you have to put all the details. So make sure the data center is correct. List ID is correct. And if you don't know where to get the list ID, we have already uploaded the video to get the list ID, data center and the API key. So you will get also, I will also show that one also because here we have the list ID. So go to that one and here we have the view content. Then you have to go with this one, go back. You have to go with the all context audience, audience, all context. Here we have a settings. So here we have the audience name and the defaults, right? So here you will get the list ID where it is. I think it's in the top. This is the list ID. You have to just put it over here. Okay. And the API key you will get from the account settings. So you, this is my API key that I am using. And this is the data center, the last one. So you have to add it over here. Okay. And in the options, you have to pass the method. You are in the headers, you have to pass the authorization that is API key. Then you have to add the request, HTTP request, URL, options, function. And if it is 200, then send the response success. Okay. Here we have just hit the API request, HTTPS, and we are passing the URL and the options. If it is something went wrong, then failure will come. And here we are just consoling the data. Okay. So this is failure redirect and the server is listen on the port number this. Okay. So this is the full fledged code of the news data sign up. I will show you right now. Okay. So here I'm going to sign up with the account. Okay. So here we will check the testing account. Testing account. Testing. 02 at the rate mailinator.com. Okay. Done. Then subscribe. Congratulations. Check the audience all contacts let me reload this one because here it will come what's the let me check the data is coming I think what the email let me 10 contacts they have let me check this one um, 
let me check again let me restart the server again let me check because it's working already okay so let me check this one reload so user 1 user 2 user 3 at the rate mailinator.com and then save this subscribe okay and then we will check the counts I don't know where these users are coming up so let me delete two of the three because I may be let me check this one actions archive confirm so how many contacts we have right now seven so let's add one of more okay so let me refresh this one testing 78 Test. testing user Testing demo. Okay, and here we will add the email. Let's me fifty six at the rate gmail dot com. Okay, so subscribe. Now we will check. Because previously it's working fine okay that's the issue of the contacts i think the 10 contacts should be there okay so now you can see that right i have deleted some of the contacts and now you can see the contacts is added over here testing demo testing demo so there is an issue that uh, it can take up to 10 contacts might be or okay so you can see that it's available now okay so any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day